Hey everyone, I'm Steve. Welcome back to Kellahaven Ranch. Sitting by the fire, warming up a little bit. Cold this morning with snow. It is the 21st of March, 2021. And uh, I don't usually put dates on, but we're in that crossover time of the year here where we have snow possible at night, freezing temperatures, daytime maybe up into the 60s, if we're lucky, even 70. In this video, we're gonna start uh, work on a field, a pasture field we have. It's about two acres, been completely neglected, uh, probably for decades. Uh, it's very rocky. It has a lot of cheat grass in it, a lot of mustard in it. First thing we're gonna do though, is get rid of the gophers. It is covered with gopher holes. As you can see in the video here, flying over with the drone, and see how the it's a mess. What else can I say? It's just a mess. On the big fields, we can use a gopher machine. That's a three-point attachment. It hooks on the back of the tractor. It subsoils down an actual tunnel at about the proximate depth that the gophers are underground, and it drops off pellets of grain that's laced with a strychnine-type poison. Kills them pretty dang quick. Uh, there's another version, too, I don't think I have it handy uh, that is a blood thinner, at least with that design. If you have animals like your dog digs up a, a dead mole or dead gopher, um, the dog gets poisoned by it, you can take them to the vet and get an antidote. Now normally I'd use the gopher machine, um, especially in the large fields. This field has too many rocks, I've done too much damage to... Uh, my tractor using it out here. In fact, there's a real good point. Whenever you're plowing with something behind the tractor where you're dragging the ground, keep the tractor in two-wheel drive. Uh, if you get stuck, that gives you a chance to switch into four-wheel drive or to back up and raise whatever implement you're using in the ground, a subsoiler, a plow, or a gopher machine. If you're in four-wheel drive and you're chugging right across the field and you hit a rock, um, you have so much power to the ground, the wheels won't spin out and you break things as I've done. I sheared off uh, top link in a blink of an eye, boom. I'll get a picture of that and throw it up here. <laughs> it's pretty quick, pretty ugly. Um, but the field we're looking at is on the other side of the big tractor. First off, there are so many gopher holes out here, it's confusing. So I'm going to take a tire drag, hook up the back of the big tractor, and pretty much use it as an eraser, and erase all the mounds out here, just a single pass across the top of the, the ground. It doesn't disturb the soil. It's uh, only gonna level off all those gopher holes. As you can see, as I'm doing, it does a really good job at erasing these mounds. And that will become important as we go out with the hand applicator. I think I'm using a yard butler, which is real common. You get them at Home Depot, you can get them on Amazon, online. Uh, that style of applicator is everywhere. And we'll have that coming up on the video. But uh, anyway, now we have targets. Because of erasing this, and here's a bird's eye view from the drone. Looking down at the field after it had been erased, you can see the lines were with the drag. I dragged around, um, see the direction of travel and such, but more importantly, we've leveled off a lot of the holes. Now, two days ago, I did the dragging. The next day I went in and got my COVID vaccine and it put me under the weather for a um, day and a half or so. We're looking at about 36, 48 hours after I did that initial drag that we're back out here playing in the field and looking what's going on. It's time to start poisoning. There's a lot of holes that have come up. I think I have an excess of 40 holes or mounds, gopher mounds that have come up in, <laughs> in this poor two acres of distressed land. We'll go out and do some poisoning and go from there. Okay, so I'm out with the applicator and I'm just hitting some of these holes. 
fairly easy to do. My gophers are really predictable. In fact, here's one. He hasn't closed up yet. This is how new this hole is. Right in. Two turns. That's it. Cover it up just a little bit. Pretty simple. And um, you can see by the half moon shape here, or horseshoe, see how easy that went in? The horseshoe shape is where you'll find that lead tunnel coming up. Pretty easy. <laughs> Obviously, this one is brand spanking new. He's right down in there. I probably scared him when I came up with the tractor, but uh, gave him a good meal. And, <laughs> and uh, I hope he enjoys it. There's a couple other holes here. Seems like a lot. Now the other thing that I like about this system, if you're trying to do any sort of regenerative agriculture, you don't want to disturb the different layers of the soil because they all have a different function. Boy, just knocking all these things down while I talk. So this sort of fits what we're aiming for. Uh, very little inputs. I haven't used uh, even a half a cup so far out here on the field. And uh, so that's Boy, with the gopher machine, I would have used 20 pounds by now. This is really targeted, really directed. And if you hit that one little sweet spot there on their mound, where you have the horseshoe, I'll try to find a better example of that. Then I just step on the hole. I don't want to fill the hole in because I don't want to bury the bait. Here, oh, here's a good one. Let me grab the camera. This is a good example of what I'm talking about. The probe went right in. Didn't even hesitate. Give it two shots. But you can see, this is just... See the horseshoe shape here? That little C shape? I'm just outside of that because this is where the hole comes directly up to the surface and they've pushed out their tailings, um, have come to the surface here, but that line coming up, that tunnel coming up is coming up right there. Real simple. So far I've covered about an acre. And uh, obviously I'm not taping every bit. I'm really redundant. Um, but we're getting good coverage. I'm getting into the heavy part of the field now. I'm sure I'm gonna slow down. But I think what I'll do is give this a day or two to set with them. And then I'll come back out here again and do a quick drag. And I'll be part two. And then we'll give it a day and see how many come up after that. That'll give us a good idea of what got poisoned and what I missed. Anything that uh, comes up at that point, then I can go ahead and hit them and we'll do a final treatment. Hey, as usual, if you like our content, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Sure appreciate it. Thank you. Moving on.